Tip number 48. Import reference schematics. And I'm pretty sure you know at least one advantage of uh, importing reference schematics. Why we would like to do it? Because it can save you time. But there is also a second advantage of importing reference schematics. Big advantage. Do you know which one it is? It minimizes number of mistakes which you can make if you just redraw the schematic. Yeah. So if you import a reference schematic into your project, you can be quite pretty sure that it's correct, yeah? it's going to work, because this is the schematic which was used on a board which is in mass production. When you redraw the schematic manually, for example from PDF, you redraw it into your project, you can make mistakes. Again, we, sp we spoke about this kind of mistake, like, uh, I don't know, wrong net label or wrong connection or something like this. It can happen, yeah? So just import it. Many times people, they, they don't do it. Usually if it's a very simple schematic, like 10 components, I don't do it, I redraw it, yeah, that's fine. But if you have uh, one page of schematic full of components, then you really may want to do it. Even if it's not exactly the schematic which you need, you may want to import it because uh, you can, uh, for example, generate library from the component, so you don't need to redraw the cheap uh, schematic symbol or something. You can use this symbol from the reference schematic and use them in your project. It still helps a lot. Yeah. Uh, sometimes people, they uh, say like, you know, there is no reference schematic for my chip. Uh, usually there is, in PDF there is almost always schematic. Many times um, you cannot get the source file, yeah? But just ask. If you cannot find source file of the schematic which you would like to use in your project, ask the chip manufacturer, ask the sales representative of the chip manufacturer, and usually they will send you the DSN file, the source file of the schematic, because, you know, they would like to sell you the chips, so they will support you. Sometimes happen, they will tell you, no, I'm not going to send you, but in most cases, you will get the reference schematic, it's no problem. So don't forget tip number 48, import reference schematics. Why? This will save you a lot of time and minimize possible mistakes which could happen when redrawing the schematic.